Are you aware that you're required by the IAA to notify Congress of any counterintelligence will, investigation? And we, will, and we will comply with the law. Have you already complied with the law? Has there been a notification? I believe we have been in compliance with the law. You believe we ha you have been, or has there been a notification to Congress I, I of any I counterintelligence believe, investigation I, of a federal candidate? I believe we have complied with the law. Welcome back, folks. I'm boarding you right now. This one is going to bring your piss to a boil. The clip for today is a heated exchange between FBI Director Chris Ray and the always on point Elise Stefanik, where she drops new confirmation that we have now that audio does exist of Joe Biden talking to his ghostwriter in 2016 and saying, quote, I just found all the classified document stuff downstairs. But surprise, surprise, the DOJ will only hand over the transcripts and not the actual audio recording. Meaning, yes, Joe Biden did break the law, yet isn't being charged because he's too old, while conversely, his political opponent is being charged for that exact thing. Now watch as Chris Ray squirms over questioning from Stefanik over this new bombshell audio. Director Ray, have you read Robert Hur's special counsel report? I have reviewed it. Do you believe Joe Biden mishandled classified information? I'm, I'm not going to discuss the report. That's the special counsel's report, and I've referred it. In your opinion as director of the FBI, do you believe he mishandled classified information? Again, I'm just going to refer to the report, and the special counsel can speak for himself on his report. Are you aware, and this is breaking news right now, are you aware that there's an audio recording of Joe Biden saying to his ghostwriter in February of 2016, quote, I just found all the classified stuff downstairs, end quote? Are you aware of that audio recording? I, again, I would just respectfully refer you to the special counsel. No, I'm asking so, you, are you aware as director of the FBI? You're either aware or you're not. I'm aware. Am I aware of what? Whether the audio exists of Joe Biden saying in February 2017, quote, I just found all the classified stuff downstairs, end quote, to his ghostwriter. Again, I'm, I'm just going to refer to the special counsel and his testimony and his report. It sounds like you might be aware of it then. In front of this very committee in an open session, your predecessor, Jim Comey, testified that he did not follow the proper protocol regarding the notifi notification of Congress of the opening of the crossfire hurricane that will be the counterintelligence investigation into President Trump in 2016. To address this illegal abuse of power by the FBI, this committee included direction to the FBI in the IAA requiring notification to congressional leadership of any counter intel investigation into a federal candidate for office. Is there any counterintelligence investigation into either Joe Biden or Donald Trump? I would just say I'll refer you to the special counsel has. It's not a question about the special counsel. Right. That's a requirement in the IAA of the FBI. Is there a counterintelligence investigation into either Joe Biden or Donald Trump? Uh, there's no investigation that I could confirm here. No. Is there, a, is there a counterintelligence investigation? Again, I'm not confirming any investigation into either candidate. Are you aware that you're required by the IAA to notify Congress of any counterintelligence and will, investigation? And we, will, and we will comply with the law. Have you already complied with the law? Has there been a notification? I believe we have been in compliance with the law. You believe we ha you have been, or has there been a notification to Congress I, I of any I counterintelligence believe, investigation I, of a federal candidate? I believe we have complied with the law. Are you guys seeing the pattern here? I'm going to stop real quick and just pose a question to all of you that I'd like you to respond to in the comments. Are these hearings pointless? I'm not saying the hearings themselves are pointless, but the fact that our officials don't answer any of the questions and are evasive make the hearings pointless. Most of the public doesn't have the attention span for these anyway. So what do you all think? Let me know in the comments. Has there been a counter intel assessment conducted on either President Biden or President Trump? Again, uh, there's no assessment that I would confirm here in any way. I believe we have been in compliance with the law. How about on an immediate family member, and by that I mean spouses or children, of either President Biden or President Trump? Again, I'm not in the business of confirming, especially not in open hearings, assessments or anything like that uh, when it comes to counterintelligence matters. So you will confirm in the classified setting when we ask you this question of whether there's a counterintelligence investigation because you are aware that according to the IAA, you are required by law to notify Congress of any counterintelligence investigation, not just for presidential candidates, but any federal candidate. We, we will comply with the law. So you will answer this in the classified hearing later today? We will comply with the law. And what's your understanding of the law? Uh, there's a whole series of oversight requirements that we have related to counterintelligence matters. I'm not going to try to go through But specifically through all of them the notification here. of Congress of a counterintel investigation onto a federal candidate. 
How do you, what is your understanding of the law? Again, I would want to refer to the lawyers to make sure that I'm appropriately complying with it, but I can tell you we're going to comply with the law, and my understanding is we have been. Come on, don't bullshit me. Wait a minute, that's like three different answers. First he says he believes that they complied, then he says they will comply, then he says he needs to talk to a lawyer to make sure that he did comply. Is your assessment that you're required to notify Congress of any counter-intel investigation into any federal candidate? I would, again, I'm going to defer to the lawyers as to the precision of that. You're the director of the FBI. They report to you. What is your understanding of the requirement in the IAA? We're going to comply with the law, including whatever's in the IAA. I want to turn to the search warrants and the search. In one case of Mar-a-Lago, an unprecedented raid and a search working with Joe Biden's legal team. Were you or your staff, did you have any communication about either the execution of the search warrant on Mar-a-Lago or the search of documents working with Joe Biden's lawyer? Was there any communication with Joe Biden of you or your team? Not to my knowledge. With any White House staff? By, by me or my team? By you or any personnel at the FBI. Again, I want to make sure I've got your question right. By me or my staff, with who about which? With the White House staff about the execution of a search warrant on Mar-a-Lago or the search working with Joe Biden's lawyers of classified information? Not to my knowledge. What about the Attorney General? I, I can't speak for the Attorney General. No, did, was there any communication with your staff, with the Attorney General, or you, regarding the execution of the search warrant or the uh, search of Joe Biden's classified documents? Well, any search would be, uh, would be done in coordination with the Department of Justice um, as to who may have communicated with whom. I'm asking if the you... the FBI and the Department, I, that I, I can't... I'm asking if you to. communicated. Whether I communicated... With the Attorney General, prior or after the execution of the search warrant on Mar-a-Lago? No. Do you think it is a national... Oh, oh, prior or after? Prior or after. Well, I would have had conversations with the Attorney General about the um, appointment of, at that time, Mr. Lausch. And what were those conversations? Just about the fact that the, he was going to be named. Oh, and, you know, about the search... But that's not really about the search itself, I suppose. Weird. Fuck this guy. If you watch this channel, it's no secret that I am not a fan of Chris Ray. He's a smug, piece of shit liar that sees himself as above the law and above scrutiny. And he always seems to lie in defense of the Democrat Party. The Biden family has the full protection of the DOJ and FBI, while those same systems have been turned around and weaponized against his opponents. Let me know what you all think in the comments. And if you're still here, might as well hit that like button. Thanks a lot and keep checking back for more.